outside in AMG. TT, Nene. <laughs> Out here with TT and Riri. Oh, man. Brother Polite is such a joke and a fake person. I just want to show y'all how fake he is. Y'all ready to see how fake he is beside the fake CMOS we already showed? This is the scam. Peace, family. That is where the scam starts. You think anybody that says peace, 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 and then they go beat their girlfriend up over a statue? Young Pharaoh, Yada, all these people came on here talking about peace and stuff. Peace, family, brother. You, st you automatically get in family mode like, you know, that's my ain't shit cousin. Ain't shit brother. You know what I mean? You don't hate them, you just know they ain't shit. But you know, you gotta warn people like, don't be fucking with them, y'all. And they can just run around in the world like the devil and just just from here to there and just run around doing craziness, ruining pe people's lives. And it's like, like suppose everybody in your family look good, but you got one person in the family that they look good, but they evil. So everybody running around like loving your family, and then you all, everybody in the family gotta warn everybody else in the world like, but stay away from that guy. You, you know what I mean? It's like, whoever you are, white, black, whoever you are, if you see Brother Polite, run and tell him to box me, <laughs> okay? Why y'all don't make y'all own food? Why do they be eating out at Margiano's and, and going out looking like Mortal Kombat characters and shit? Why don't they wear like Egyptian stuff? Like, I don't understand. Like, why don't they just go out with a custom made Egyptian dress or something? I don't get it. Do, do your wives even have a sewing machine? Who be doing their hair Who and their toes? Do y'all really go to the Asian place to go get your toes did, then go to beauty salon, then buy all these expensive clothes, and then flex on the internet like this for real? For real, real? I cut my own hair. <laughs> nose wiping those are your telltale signs you got a you're a drug addict bro not only are you a scammer a liar skeezer you a dope fiend you feel me and it's sorrowful it's very sorrowful to see we went on our adventure it was a great daddy daughter experience we rocked out for a week over here i did every and anything she wanted to do facts why would you do any and everything your daughter want? Your daughter want a puppy, your daughter want to scam people, your daughter want to wear weave, whatever she want to do. This, she is the scam. That's why he's always including her. She is the scam. It's like, oh, well, you know, I don't want to stop a black man from feeding his family. Okay. When I was in Hong Kong and Thailand, she was like, man, we got to go somewhere, daddy. We can't do no daddy daughter day. We need the week. I'm like, I'm with it. Where you want to go? She said, we got to be on a plane. I'm like, okay. So initially, what? she wants to go out the country. So, she, y'all going on flights just because your daughter want to go on a flight. Y'all literally risking your life with this money that y'all scammed out of people. Are you running from people? 
Are you running from people in this whole story a lie? You don't believe, don't believe nothing he says, y'all. You will get sucked into it and start thinking like, huh? Like I said, Mama Bear was like, hey, y'all can do your daddy daughter thing. Or it goes out the country now. It's a family thing. I ain't about to be showing me no pictures and sending me no postcards. You can keep it in the States. Didn't she come up missing? Wasn't she just missing your daughter? How? How? Oh, you got new new covenant members, security. Did one of them kidnap the daughter? Were they out screwing the daughter? Okay, change subject. Cause I already talked about how they had her and the guy was all getting up kind of close up on her. You can travel wherever you want. So, baby girl picked Miami and it was a lot of fun. I'm glad, I'm so glad she picked Miami. We had so much fun there. Capped it off with a basketball game. Watched the Miami Heat play. And it's experiences like that that just means everything to me. So now I'm back. Why do he be going to these basketball games? He is obsessed with basketball. Dude said all he do is play basketball. We always see him going to the games, taking pictures with Floyd Mayweather, screaming, looking like they're having fun. Why? What woke person do you know go to basketball games? Any spare change? I could understand if, like, <clears throat> it was like the Olympics or, or something special, you know, like the Super Bowl or just your, you, know the, you know the players personally. <coughs> but just to be going, tricking off the money that he scammed y'all with. Yeah. In LA. Do you sound like his daughter? My mama did. She took the weave out. Does it sound, oh, she got the nails though. Does it sound like the daughter wants to go to a basketball game or Polite want to go to the basketball game? Because the other day he was watching TV, I was watching, he was watching TV and he was watching the white men beat each other up and he started calling them animals. And then he said something like he doesn't even want to watch it, but he was watching it for like five minutes or more. I was like, change channels, what's going on here? Yeah, got that late night grind. That was some gracious stuff. Yeah, real food daily. She got her green apparatus. I got that green drink is garbage. And I'm pretty sure this food at this restaurant is probably garbage that y'all shouting out. Go ahead and shout out Margiano's like y'all did back in the day when Dr. Savi was still alive. I ain't even seen them even at Usha Village shouting out Usha Village and tagging it. Okay. My green apparatus. That's garbage. Just doing what we can. That, I got this. that green drink he was drinking is most likely garbage too. I'm not even feeling like looking it up. This seaweed has high in soluble fiber. Vitamin A. Soluble fiber. Look, y'all. When you go out and order seaweed, if you're a vegan, you have to be careful because they put fish oil and stuff like that on the seaweed. B. D. Got some D in there. But you know, we want to get out D from the sun. Vitamin K definitely great for the eyes and all that. All those lies to tell you about if you're vegan, how are you gonna get your protein? Right here, plenty of protein and seaweed. I don't even believe so between you. the protein and the solid. I don't believe you. I just don't. Fiber. Woo. Then of course we got a little lentil burger. Had to do that. Oh yeah, we lentils are garbage. You don't have to do that. You could have just made your own food. You know, we even know how to make rice. Dr. Sebi approved rice with the hot water. Like you just go to Starbucks, ask for a cup of hot water and pour Fonio in it with a little sea salt and some uh, olive oil, which sometimes they have that there too. And boom, we're making Fonio now at the airport or anywhere we at. Okay. Romaine lettuce. No, we do what we do. I am setting y'all free from the covenant and the trust.
that Brother Polite scammed y'all and lied y'all to y'all because y'all couldn't see it from the eyes of Dr. Sabi. But I'm giving y'all the eyes of Dr. Sabi. And I'm young. I'm not old. And I can use this internet and call him out. I would have did all of this with Dr. Sabi and got Dr. Sebi's commentary on it live. I was just going to like just get on get on the internet with Dr. Sebi and just like just show him stuff and be like, I'm about to start making YouTube videos. Correct me if I say something wrong, sir. So I there's another video I want to show, but I want to get through this, but how on earth does she maintain a weight? Well, you're looking at it. <laughs> Looking at them eat something that's probably not even good for you, but they fl they want to flex on y'all. This is some broke stuff. Cause see, I'm just showing y'all how to be better than him. And if I'm showing you how to be better than him, then your new covenant is garbage. It's it's a poor investment. And it's like, dang, he got y'all. He's not even really really showing y'all. And I'm like, did you see the drinks they're drinking? That shit is garbage. Why not just drink spring water? He doesn't know though. He don't even know how we're back again. Sorry, the service is a little off. We're in the airport. Can you trust their food? Uh, I can pick between trusting their seaweed or trusting someone's chicken. So I'm not saying that to be facetious. I'm saying that to just be real about it. If we're not growing our own food, we gotta pick the lesser of the two evils. If one is actually in fact evil over the other, so or evil and missing the other. Yeah, you know, I'm not the type to stress myself out so much that I want to not eat nothing. I go with the flow. That's where prayer comes in. Pray over the food. Pray to who? Pray to who, brother polite? Malachi York? Hell nah. Then you talking about some Malachi York was your God, then the black woman was God, then the God that praying over, okay, the black woman God is right there at the table. You don't have to pray over it, she's right there. She's supposed to watch over it and say, this food ain't even good enough for us, y'all. This is trash. We are starving and we just gonna eat some of this bullshit. This shit ain't shit. That's what she's supposed to say. But you always hear in the background saying, no, stop, Brother Polite, stop, stop, no, stop. What's so funny is, what does she call him? Does she call him Dwight? What's his name, Michael? Does she call him Michael? Or does she call him that new Egyptian word? It's cu I'm curious. And eradicate the negative energies in a form of toxins. He's saying that prayer can eradicate negative energies and toxins? Nah, that's not how prayer works. See, you eat the food that God told you to eat, therefore you won't have problems with the toxins. Then you thank God for the food that he provided on the earth that he told us to eat in the Bible. That is the prayer. You don't pray for God to kill the germs on the food and then it just happens like a magic show. See, now he's playing with you Christians and, and religious people. He's playing with y'all. Pray to what, God? This is a liar. This dude is such a liar. Pray over the food. Yeah, I don't even want to see that replay. Man, what's up with the calves, man? What? Is he talking about white people or carrots? I don't know. It's one of the main reasons I go to Cleveland. They're about to exile one of the reasons I go to Cleveland. change beats are trash no matter what he says beats are garbage but yeah he turned his head I throw it away so fast he'll come back wait go boy you ain't see that yes I did man he 
find some tissue in the stash looking like blood. I used to get in trouble all the time. And I'm the type, I can't eat the food unless it looks good. So even if the food had a weird shape, even if it was food I like, if it was just shaped weird, I couldn't eat it. I don't even know if romaine lettuce is alkaline or natural. Yeah, I like to eat it because I'm in the matrix, but once you go back to nature, you probably won't even be able to eat it. I don't even know, but right now, romaine is bussing, you know, but they, they did have some kind of recall or something, I remember. Anyway, the fact that he didn't know that, and, okay, the fact that he doesn't know that there's a recall on the romaine means that he's not heavily invested. He's not watching the stock market in relation to these vegetables that he's promoting. He's not, one of them wives, they sitting up there saying every morning, okay, we had a recall on this, we had a recall on that. That's what you do when you get polygamy. You have your wife or somebody, you know what I mean? The, the, even a little girl could be looking up news reports just to make sure all the food is safe to eat so that they don't get killed trying to flex eating vegetables that I already told you are garbage anyway, because you don't need lentils from this restaurant or whatever. You know how we do when we was young, it fell to the floor, we... It's not romantic, it's just garbage. Did he just eat food off the floor? I know I dumpster dive and all that stuff, but if I wasn't living like this, I would not live like that. So why just eat off the floor? that he was like I'm joking though and I just realized he see he gets in the habit of telling us like oh no I'm just joking oh I'm just playing but when you do it too much it lets us know that you're a liar because you're not gonna tell us when you're lying you're not gonna tell us when you're joking you joke too much like Sometimes he'd be lying to y'all and joking. When he was talking about praying and stuff, he probably was joking. But because nobody laughed, you didn't know he was joking or lying or telling a white lie. you just know how lame he is yeah. see if it was really if he was he's not brother polite he's true light or whatever or michael so he, he i don't know who brother polite is but if i'm the real brother polite let me tell you i'll probably go to the restaurant and say just let me get five orders of quinoa six orders of quinoa and I would just sit there and eat quinoa and seaweed depending on if it has any ingredients on the seaweed and I would drink spring water that's how the new covenant should have seen this but you have a false idol scam as your leader who eats low vibrational food on live when he should not even live stream this if he did if it was the only thing to eat he should not even even live stream this he shouldn't even be drinking these garbage drinks but he's not getting paid to drink it. Oh, I hope not. I don't know. Yeah. See how he just wiped his nose again? This man can't stop messing with his nose. The basil beans. You want to eat any beans. You want to eat the basil beans. You want to soak them relatively long because... Why is he scratching his nose again? What, what is this?
Say no to drugs, drink responsibly, everybody. If you don't soak them over, if you can soak them overnight, and if they're going to you don't get the best results out of them. You can make patties. Just get you some spelt flour at the very least. Put some Dr. Sebi said he had to stop eating spelt before he died. Why? There's something wrong with spelt. And most people don't even know that he said that. I don't even, I think they like wiped the internet of like all this Dr. Sebi content. So a lot of the content that y'all are seeing that's online right now might not even be there for 10, in 10 years. Like if you want to really learn, like just go download everything that Dr. Sebi every did, ever did and put it back up on the internet. Because you can go back and watch the video later if it's your own video. But if it's somebody else's and they delete the channel or whatever else be the case, then the information is lost. Okay, let me just... garbage like this and then you go eat it if you eat amaranth it won't have any crazy reaction don't be afraid of amaranth unless you eat this kind of garbage that he eats because it will probably detox you because i already told you the drink that they're drinking both of them have poison garbage drinks and then the food is garbage I don't believe you. I ain't never heard Dr. Sebi say that, and I don't believe you. I don't care if they say the colors of the herbs mean this and that, because he used turmeric, and Dr. Sebi said turmeric is poison. So just because he want to say that it's yellow and it's good for this, shut up, nigga. You can literally plant the color yellow out of the wall in the bathroom. And fight anybody in the boxing ring i want to fight 19 keys young pharaoh brother polite rizza islam yeah yeah trying to flex. I don't know, some people are scared to eat hot food. They I don't know.
favorite vegan brand in LA. Now I really get to expose you. Thank you. So if you're the grand illustrious and this is your favorite and I expose the restaurant, then I'm really exposed New Covenant and your in your whole trust agreement. And all the I'm setting so many people free. Don't y'all love this? Isn't this great? <laughs> Holistic is a science that is anti-Dr. Sabi. See, people get confused. They think they can learn stuff from white people and then mix it with Dr. Sabi stuff and then they get confused. And that's what all this Rizal Islam, all this stuff is. These people had to get this knowledge from somebody, then they give it back to you and they act like they so powerful. But then half the time, it's, they can't really show you real power. stuff that Dr. Sebi said is garbage and then you eat and drink that will be bad eating and drinking I'm not sure I don't I don't even care so tell me something with the salivary amylase that we had within the confines of our mouth that initiates the digestive process and we were to chew as much as we're supposed to chew is that not liquidating our food But that's different than buying it pre-juiced. The blender chewed up the food for you, Brother Polite. I'm so glad you just exposed yourself. And choking or massively hiccuping if they don't drink in the end time. Now, what you may want to say is don't drink and eat if with that what you're drinking is high in fructose corn syrup. Drinking something that's plant based. I don't think we have the stress drinking and eating at the same time. And I'm only taking mouth. Drinking a plant that's not made by God is in a plant though. Sips, like, come on, people take these. People, wow. One of the worst things you could ever do is drink and eat. If that's the case, many people will be dead. Let's not exaggerate, man. <laughs> A lot of people will be dead if that was true. Knock it off. Knock it off. Don't sensationalize. Don't romanticize. You know, like a person asked before. Dr. Sabi died in a jail. He won. Dr. Africa and Dick Gregory died free. Oh, you, you eat fruits with vegetables? That's one of the worst things you could do. Never mix fruit with vegetables. So I said, if I chew the fruit, how long do I have before I chew it? Okay. The health thing is fun, but a lot of us make it so whack. We make it boring. But we always got something slick to say. You always got too much slick stuff to say and you're gonna bury yourself. I'm gonna show you how crazy he is. Now, he's gonna talk about mangoes and why he won't drink a mango, but 
he won't eat a mango on camera, but then he'll eat this restaurant food. He'll he'll eat uh, that nasty drink he drank. She'll drink her drink, but he won't eat a mango. That sounds like cooning. Your favorite restaurant, you'll show that off, but not a mango made by God. <laughs> See, that sounds good, but if you know that he's eating garbage and you're being, he's supposed to be leading a whole group of people and donors, then you know that something's not right. If you can't have fun eating garbage, just because you're crazy, you want to make us be crazy. He will make you just, that's not even like being called vegan. And they got all sorts of different categories of vegan, and it starts annoying you like, oh, sweat. So many layers of vegetarian, layers of... Vegan. You're not a vegan because you, you have leather seats and you wear leather. You're not a vegan, sir. Vegans don't wear leather and stuff unless they're homeless. I just be like, man, I'm conscious. Yo. I make a conscious effort to eat better. That's it. I'm not on these other people's time. They got some other stuff they own. like a mobile little camera stand you could probably buy one in the airport for like five or ten dollars just so you could do this video more professionally but it's it's just everything is thrown together just winging it with him it's like clout chasing it's just garbage and he just kind of talk he talking down about to about vegans you know what I mean? Like, how you supposed to be a vegan and you talking down on vegans? I don't think you're a vegan, bro. I don't want to keep it that real. <laughs> what is so funny? Is she high? What is so funny? Or does she just laugh at anything he says? Is that just, like, is she just desperate? There seems to be a bit of desperation in these laughs. Of these some food, sloppy, not any food, like mangoes. Man, you give me a mango, I would love to eat a mango. I would never eat it live because I like to eat them sloppy. You would never eat a mango live. Why? And yeah, I eat the skin too. That's not even like being called vegan. What? They got all sorts of different categories of vegan. And it starts annoying you like, oh, sweat. What? So many layers of vegetarian, layers of vegan. I just be like, man, I'm conscious, yo. I make a conscious effort to eat better. That's it. <laughs> I'm not on these other people's time. They got some other stuff they own. That's because you're a scam. That's the same thing Umar Johnson was saying about vegans being extreme. You feel me? Yo. Technically, almost every day, we should be able to see you going live eating a mango, but you won't do it? Bruh, folk playing music. Wow. So, we 
we should be able to see you eating mangoes, but you won't do that. But it, then I see you eating stuff that Dr. Sebi told us not to eat. This is a scam, y'all. The whole, oh, I can't be identified as none of these vegans. Oh, so now you can never expose them because he already told us. Y'all, this is Real Food Daily. Corn, garlic, spinach, pesto. I don't know what kind of pancakes they got. Grilled tofu. That's garbage. Tofu scrambles. Tempeh bacon. Cashew mozzarella. Dr. Savy told us about cashew. Smoked cashew. Okay. Now here it is again. Okay. So he had like a the burger, the original RFD burger made with chipotle out of caramelized onions, arugula, cashew cheese, which Dr. Sebi told us not to, pickled jal jalapenos, and kabata roll. That was what they had, the kabata roll or the bruschette bun. Classic American impossible patty. Western burger, impossible patty. Y'all, this is impossible. Was he just eating an impossible burger? Which is like soy and some other shit. It's the only couple of sandwiches they got. This is re uh, real food daily right here. Okay? Now watch this. Live from Vegan Sexy's Kitchen right here. I'm gonna discuss today is how live, to live. cook your medicine properly. That's right. Some real drug dealing talk right Peace of the family, I'm reporting to you live from Vegan Sexy's kitchen right here. Now, I created Vegan Sexy. I told Tierra Gro Goes Green to tell Chef Aki. So, what? Okay. Live, live, live. We live, baby. We live. And we'll be Have you, haven't you seen Brother Polite with Chef Aki? Then we saw. Uh, Chef Aki with Yada. I saw Chef Aki with Yada. Y'all didn't think I caught it? I caught it. She be with Brother Polite. She be with Yada. Yeah. Listen, though. Discuss today is how to cook your medicine properly. That's right. Some real drug dealing talk right here. We're going to get the Pyrex. We're going to get the fish scale. We're going to get the, the pollen spring. We're going to get the straws. We're going to cut them slanted or on a diagonal so we can put the work into the 12 12 in the bags in it. and if it gets too rough in there you know if it's too much cut we're gonna ball it we're gonna put ice cubes in there we're gonna wait for it to come back so we get the brick and start chopping it up all over again because we're gonna we're gonna get that work we're gonna provide that work over the stove now let me stop let me stop playing with you but listen that was his joke his joke was cooking crack you tell terrible jokes on the internet you're not even supposed to be on the internet, first of all, if you're conscious. But if you're on the internet, you're desperate. I'm desperate because the world was getting ruined. And I was like, who is leading y'all? What is going on? Y'all y'all crazy? I saw people dancing for chicken sandwiches and, and voting for biscuits and getting shots for free donuts. I'm like, are y'all serious? Are they really think they can buy y'all with donuts and a biscuit? Like, I could understand if they had, like, a lottery for, like, a million dollars or something, but no. And then you will still have to give me the biscuit and the donuts, but I don't even want them because I'm vegan. This dude just said he not a vegan, though, y'all. So he don't want to be put in any category because he doesn't want to be exposed as a fake vegan. But we already heard that he be eating junk food from the gas station and stuff. Now he's talking about cooking crack with the with his family over there. But you won't eat a mango? This dude is fake, yo. <laughs> Who wanna do a twerk contest? I'll get $500 to whoever win. That was Brother Polite with the scarves and the wraps and the do-rags and stuff he be wearing. Who still wear do-rags like that? Any spare change? What is up with this? Look, white people, 
keep your people away from young Pharaoh and Brother Polite. They will lead your children down the path of hell. <laughs> Lloyd is there at the party. Oh, look at that view. I wish I could see this in person, bro. Hey, producing her album and made her pay for this? What is going on here? Oh, we see how Aminette stay thick now. We saw that their favorite restaurant is garbage. <laughs> She's bloated. So from this point forward, I don't want no fucking long lasting relationship shit. I don't want to deal with none of that. What is he talking about? Any spare change? Also, I never really seen her Aminette working out. Like, why isn't she teaching other women how to work out and stuff like that? I don't know. Good, clean, wholesome, Brooklyn, messy shit. That's what I want. It's messy shit. Go and do a twerk contest. I'll get $500 to win the twerk contest. Uh -oh. $500. Uh -oh. Oh, shit. $500 is not a lot. They give out more at the at the little parties at the club all the time. Come to this party, you only get 500 But at the same time, that was crazy that it's like, he started yelling at it. It's like, he didn't say like who could do a knowledge um, who could drink doc the most Dr. Sebi herbs? You know what I mean? Who can take, everybody, let's go take the duck right now. We want to take the duck. You're going to be throwing up. We're going to make fun of you. You know what I mean? I don't know. $500. What about $500? $500 to, to take Dr. Sebi herbs. You know, this is typical, typical, this is like buying souls like you just start throwing out Aaron, somebody go over here and start shaking him and then well, i'll give you some money okay that ain't enough i'll give you some a thousand you know this is weird they trying to use the money gun. distracted to where y'all think brother polite is the main attention the main attraction is floyd polite ain't nobody he broke <laughs> If a, if a brother would have told me 10 years ago that the motherfucker that I love here. and cherish I feel like she's watching this with us like YouTube like I'm t I, I don't warn the white people stay away from brother polite Black people too, but hey, I'm just warning white people because y'all just now learning who he is and stuff. My number one fucking person in sports music and entrepreneurship because I fuck with Money Made. I like Pretty Boy, but Money Made is my favorite person because he get the bag and he's smart. 
But anyway, yes. I need to start investing and in learning how to fucking pronounce words. Right. If that's what's going on, I need to fucking learn how to unfucking read. Because I ain't never seen a fucking. I don't know. Maybe that's how they're made. All right, y'all. Know. So look, me and my boy, you know I'm saying. Hold on. To come to a burger spot and grab some burgers, so you head back to the party, you know what I'm saying? Because brother, plate is vegan. You know what I'm saying? All they have is vegan food. So y'all didn't eat nothing at the party? Brother Polite's not a vegan. He just said he's not a vegan. What's going on? I'm hungry. What? You know what I'm saying? L.A., man. This is, it's fun, man. So y'all left the party? So this is the next yeah. day after Jump the freaking party. Look at the views, y'all. The food wasn't good enough? I hope you two don't. Shots. So we know you drink. That's y'all money you took from y'all. Whoa. Does it say there's some holes in this house playing? Hold on. Brother Polite look like an old man right there. Go ahead and play this junk, man. Uh, play this crap. Dang. Who is that, Chinese kitty? This is what y'all paying for. Like the guy I just seen today. Y'all see that leash he got on this girl? He got a leash on the girl. Is that misogyny? y'all paid I'm in it you up next your wife gotta come up here and shake her booty like the rest of the entertainment like the rest of the strippers and the video girls is that what she is you, you make music videos and stuff, don't you? You rap and sign artists and stuff, right? This is even a video, like a party music video, whatever you want to call it. Because he had his singer singing. So his wife and everybody got to come out here and bust it open to promote this white girl singing. So we can guarantee her some type of internet, whatever it is, uh, 
music fame or whatever. I don't know. <laughs> Yo, play is hilarious, bro. You looking for Aminette? The boy. Like, Aminette, get out here and shake it. I already showed y'all this, but this is Catch LA. This is how his wife say thick. Eating at Catch LA. But if we go to Catch LA and look at the food, then it's not vegan. This is where you go to, to go get white women. This is not vegan. See, he's saying that he's not vegan now. This is fish. That's pescatarian. See, bro, was, he thought he had to leave the party because he thought Brother Polite was a vegan, but Brother Polite is not a vegan. He's eating that catch. You see? Salmon. Lobster. Octopus. Lobster mane. Any spare change on you, bro?